Worldwide, it's estimated that up to 700,000 infants are infected with HIV every year, and up to 90% of those babies are living in developing countries like Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and it is estimated that of that amount, about 40% of the infections come from breastfeeding. We know breast milk is so healthy and really important to help keep these babies alive and give them food. And so what we wanted to find was a very low-tech, very simple form of pasteurization that a mom might be able to do. Our study looked at breast milk that we collected from mothers who were HIV positive in South Africa and we performed our heat treatment method on this milk. And so the method that we devised um, is a form of flash pasteurization where the idea is to heat the milk hot and heat it very fast. Um, that is known to kill a lot of the pathogens but keep the milk healthy as well. So all a mother would need to do would be to manually express her milk into a glass jar. She puts that glass jar into an aluminum pan that has water in it. She heats them both very quickly over a high flame, brings the water to a boil, and then she removes the jar of milk. What has happened is the water bath has transferred the heat to the milk. The water is visible to the mother and boils, but the milk itself only reaches a certain, a certain temperature. And what we have found with flash heat is that as the water approaches the boiling point, HIV is inactivated, and yet the milk is protected from further destruction. Our study to date has focused on looking at the safety, but certainly we want to start looking at feasibility. Can mothers actually do this in the field? They tell us they can, they tell us they would, but now we need to actually see if they can.